Hey, it's Jamie Caldwell here, one minute out. I wanna to talk to you about a scenario and a scene that you're probably gonna encounter yourself in at some point uh, while you're everyday carrying. Vehicles, road rage, right? It happens, somebody's having a bad day or you know, you get cut off, you cut somebody off, whatever. You've seen it too many times where there, there becomes an altercation just from driving down the road. So things that you need to think about during those situations is if a threat arises or, or projects itself, how can you, while you're in your vehicle, engage that threat or deal with that threat? You know, obviously we just wanna deescalate the situation and move on, right? No harm, no foul. But if we have to go to that point, how are we going to either get out of our car? How are we gonna get out of our seatbelt? How are we gonna access our pistol? You know, and one of the big things I, I see out there that I, I'm just not a fan of is a lot of people are trying to uh, promote and talk about, let's put our pistol on this magnet underneath the dash, or I've got this cool holster that, you know, screws in and attaches next to my seat or in my console what good is your pistol to you if you're not right there next to it or it's not on you you know there's a situation where you might get drug out of your car you know you don't even know it you're sitting there you didn't know you cut some guy off you're at a stoplight changing your radio and this dude's already at your door opens it up and jerks you out of it and is beating the crap out of you in the middle of the street what good's your pistol do when it's on a magnet underneath the dash okay so if your pistol was on you in that situation now you can deal with that threat, all right? So we're gonna walk through a couple different scenarios and show you what to do, what not to do when you have to deal with something from a vehicle. All right, for the first scenario, some guy's hot and heavy, he's in front of you, he gets out of his vehicle and he's kind of yelling at you. You know, he does not showing a weapon, not brandishing anything. He's not just, you know, he's not an immediate threat. We always just want to defuse the situation. You know, why, why continue to escalate it? Let's just defuse it. Let's just tell this guy, yup, man, sorry. Hey, he's probably having a bad day. We don't need to make it any worse. Let's just move on and continue rolling. So defuse the situation, just go about your day, go do what you needed to do. All right, in this scenario, we've tried to de-escalate the situation the best we can, but this guy's just having a horrible day and he just wants to get into a fight or he just wants to get into an altercation. As soon as this guy exited his vehicle, he brandished a weapon, he becomes an immediate threat. Now we've got to, because we haven't had the chance already to clear our seatbelt. So I'm gonna reach across with my support hand, undo my seatbelt, that frees up my primary hand so I can quickly get to my pistol, clear my shirt, pistol comes out, and I'm going straight through the front windshield to deal with this threat. Right? I have not had time to get out of the vehicle in this situation to get a clear shot. So straight through that front windshield and I'm gonna eliminate that threat immediately. There's a few different ways that you can remove the seatbelt. You know, obviously the easiest, the most efficient muscle memory is the way you do it every single time you get out of the vehicle. So just reaching down, popping it, all right, and then moving it out of the way. The only hiccup with that is you could tend to get your arm caught inside the seatbelt. All right, because we're used to when we remove it, then we kind of slide it away using this hand. All right, we don't want to get hung up inside of our seatbelt. So a way to think about it, if both hands are free, this is the easiest, most efficient, is to swim your uh, non-firing hand underneath the seatbelt, and then use the eyes the same method as we're always used to, and press the button, and then it easily clears our arm so that we don't get hung up. Another method, if your firing hand happens to be busy doing something else or whatever, then you can do that same motion with one hand. What you wanna do is swim underneath with that hand, then reach over to undo the seatbelt and then let it clear. As long as it isn't caught on your big old 50 millimeter Breitling watch, you're good to go. All right, if he's already made it past your front windshield and now he's right there at your door, brandished a weapon, draw right out that side window. If your window's up, go right through the glass. That glass isn't gonna hurt you. You need to get those rounds down range. You need to eliminate that threat. All right guys, so you can see from multiple different scenarios, right? The key things are number one, de-escalate the situation. Just just get out of it, right? I mean, we, we you know, we, we don't like to be uh, talked to in certain manners, but there's some times that, you know, we know we're carrying, we know where this situation could go. Let's not, let's not escalate it to that point. Just de-escalate, get out of the situation, go about your day, okay? That guy just decides that, nope, he is he is just adamant and he is gonna escalate this situation, then, then we have to deal with it, all right? So the big things there are as soon as somebody gets out of their vehicle and they're coming to you make sure we do remove that seat belt so that we're free to do what we need to do if we need to get out of the vehicle to further try to de-escalate it okay that's something that we could do normally you want to just try to stay in inside our vehicle all right 
here we can see that this guy came all the way to the door still yelling and screaming all right and then he brandished his weapon we had to deal with what we had if they brandish it right out front then there's times that we're just gonna have to go straight through the windshield but the biggest thing is just be aware of your surroundings okay remove anything that may uh, slow you down from getting your pistol out and you know try to de-escalate that situation but deal with what you have all right as you see fit